Because I mean, mentally, that's a really hard thing. It's finally not gonna be here forever. Like a paleo-ish, it's not like, I know whenever I say uh, some kind of diet, it's not like super strict. 6.45, you can tell, believe me, because it's still like blue outside. The sun is coming up, so that means winter. It's finally not gonna be here forever. Super good, I'm gonna make you a bun. Wow, wow. We're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna get our cardio in, and then we're gonna meet with the bank. We're gonna try to make our money, make more money. Bank doesn't really do that, barely does it. But it's better than my interest rate right now, which is 0 0.1, no, 0 0.016. Is snowing again. Oh, I have a Okay, I just finished my cardio. That's why my face is so rosy. I've been doing, just trying to beat my distance every day versus like a time. So it's just 45 minutes. I can run, walk, run as fast as I want, jog, stop, take a break, like whatever. But within that 45 minutes, I have to go farther than the last time. So the first time I did a 45 minute, I just did like a walk and it was like two, two miles and like 0.63. Since then, I've just been trying to beat it. So I, last time I went for a run was four days ago and I got 3.6. Zero six. That was a tough one. That was after leg day and I thought my freaking knees were gonna fall apart. And then today I did 3.24. I'm excited, I'm uh, feeling good, feeling on track with things. Today is a posterior chain day, so I'll take you guys along with me there. And then we're gonna go make breakfast. Oh, with that, I am dabbling a teensy tiny bit in like the carnivore-ish diet. I did buy some tomatoes, full disclosure, so I will be eating those and some onion. But yeah, I've just been having some like digestive issues when I eat certain fibers. Cutting everything out is not the way to go. But for me personally, um, I eat a very clean diet to begin with. And the fact that I'm having these issues and I get like really inflamed in my face sometimes and really watery. Losing weight is really, really, really challenging. I'm just going to do it for a little bit. We're going to see what happens. And it's always good for me to like test out things on myself before I like relay them to like clients and stuff like that. So like for me, I know like a paleo diet, like a paleo, it's just not like, I know whenever I say some kind of diet, it's not like super strict. For me, I know that a paleo diet works like fairly well. I fairly enjoy it, especially once you get away from all like the fast food processed carbohydrates. It's actually quite enjoyable so that's kind of like where I steer people so this is just taking it eight steps forward or to the side in one direction completely offside we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna give it a teensy tiny whirl again not super super restrictive about it okay okay love you bye so update on this diet. I should have said more of a high protein, low carbohydrate diet because that's where this ended up going. But overall, I did this for about a week and it was fairly easy to adhere to. All my cramping went away, but nothing else changed. So that's good, I guess. I didn't feel like I got like more energy like some people experience. I didn't like drop any, like even any water weight, which I found was interesting. But overall, I've been able to reintroduce like my fibrous salads that I love so much back into my diet. And right now I don't have any digestive issues. So that's a bonus. All right, this is breakfast and it's all its beautiful glory. <laughs> we just have my tomato salad that I always have. The meatloaf, ground beef, two eggs sesame seeds, hot sauce, and that's it. Well, looky here. We got ourselves a podcast we were on. So excited. I was on my good friend Katarina's podcast, the Live Nourish podcast, where we just talked about should you train every single day? Should you have pre-workout every single time you train? Should women like link up their cycle to like their menstrual cycle, like their training cycle and what that looks like if they want to or don't want to? Consequences of it? Are there consequences of it? All that jazz. So we break that down in that podcast. It was so much fun. I love getting on there because she just gives us such a good, like welcoming, like She's such a nice person, honestly. Just a very like gentle platform for people to like get their feet wet. Um, people that have been burned by like the fitness industry or like the gimmicks of it that are like looking for honest, genuine help. Her podcast is the place to go. So 
I'm gonna link that down below. Give that a listen. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> circadian rhythm that works off a, a monthly schedule rather than men who work off a daily schedule. So mm -hmm. they can do their fitness tests whenever because yeah. they reset at midnight. <laughs> yeah. The luteal. So like, that's the part where you want to kind of, you can like still like lift, but just mm -hmm. like take it slower and lighter. Yeah. Your warm up's going to be like, important to make sure that like you're very primed for the movements still progressing so a lot of people will you know you just do the movements but mm -hmm. when you're prone for injury or you can't go as heavy it's like okay if i slow it down that makes it harder to do the movement so that is a form of progression you do 100 pounds and it takes uh, on a squat and mm -hmm. it takes you three seconds to go all the way down and then mm -hmm. the next time you do like five seconds to go all the way down and you're really slow and controlled that is a progressive overload so that is a physical adaptation you've made with weight training. So that is good. And it's not that our cycle enables us like to just be inadequate. It's just about being smart about your training and just like, again, listening to your body. I think that's where a lot of women get caught up, not knowing that these are biofeedback signals, that this, your body's trying to tell you like, I need to rest. I need to slow down. We're just like, I have to do more. Like my program says, my coach is expecting me to do this. And it's like, okay, well, if your coach understood your cycle and, under and you understood yourself, like you guys could work together and then make progress that would feel good mentally and physically. Cause I mean, mentally, that's a really hard thing to go into the gym and fail and not know why you're failing. Cause you're trying so hard. And it's like, it's just your body needing different things at different times. Mm -mm. That is a Kleenex.